Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And we've talked a little bit in the past about swappable airframes. Yes. And uh, where you have uh, one, one uh, fuselage. Yep, and a and motor can, and speed control. And you just make a bunch of different, uh, bunch of different wings. And why do we do uh, that? Because we're cheap. We're really cheap. We want maximum airplane for minimum money. That's exactly right. Yeah. So we've had the uh, FT Flyer, you've seen that before, yep. and you can just uh, pop, pop this right off the fuselage and yep. put on something new. And that's something new today is the Delta. The Delta, yes. We actually started our first swappable as a nutball, mm -hmm. and then in the Choose Your Prop Adventure was the FT Flyer, and those are both good beginner airplanes. Now uh, there's, there it is. Nutball. And we also have build videos for the nutball, mm -hmm. and the Delta here that we're doing, and also the FT Flyer, we will also include build videos for those as well. But, along with training, you ready for your next step, you ready for your third airplane. Right. And what usually comes with your third airplane? Crashes. A a a oh, ailerons. Ailerons. Ailerons, ailerons yes. Right. And also a lot of people get into flying wings, and there's a term we use often called bank and what? Yank. Bank and yank. And this is going to be able to teach you how to bank and yank, because up until this point we've used dihedral mm -hmm. and uh, polyhedral to stabilize the airplane. Right. This not plane that. is not there. We have a KF step for some lift, but there is no vertical stabilization. There, there's nothing that's going to self-right you at all. Right. So you'll be able to do rolls, loops, basic aerobatics inverted flight. Nice. Or these guys, a little bit, not but so not much. much. Not not too easy. And if you're ready to do it on these, you're ready to go to this. Nice. Good. So these planes have differences. Differences. Uh, this one has dihedral, this one does not. Correct. This one has a KS step. Right, KF step airfoil. Klein so we'll... Fogelman airfoil. Sure, we'll Klein Fogelman we'll modified airfoil. What this KF airfoil gives us is con a conventional airfoil, but it doesn't look conventional. And if you guys watch our uh, airfoil episodes on different airfoils, you'll see how that works. But uh, basically, it actually creates a little air pocket right here mm -hmm. to cause the air to have a smooth curve. So right. what the air feels is a nice smooth curve. What you see is crazy steps. Right. And this is just a single step airfoil, 40% at the core and 40% at the tip. So what we got here is we got our, our classic this power pot on the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, it, it unpatches with the uh, pin on the bottom. And look at that. Comes right off. Yep, it comes right off. Now, you guys can switch out these airframes in probably about two minutes. All you have to do is replug mm -hmm. it, but there is a difference with this one. Uh, you gotta actually use Elevon mixing. That's right. Uh, without Elevon mixing, you're gonna have aileron on one side or a rudder on one side and elevate on the mm -hmm. other. You're not gonna have a good flying experience. Yeah, you're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to mix it. So make sure before you build this, your radio is capable of Elevon mixing because you're gonna wanna do that. Be a mix master. Be a mix master. So wiki, wiki. I, I think the best way to do this, because it's really the same thing we've covered before. We have a 24 gram motor in the front, 1300 kV. Yes. Our favorite two gram or nine gram Hextronic servos mm -hmm. and a uh, 12 amp plush. Other than that, the only thing that changes is the airframe. Right. So you've got elevators. Elevators or elevons. Elevators. 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 Well, brother, I think we, we've been talking about this long enough. It's a simple airframe. I think it's time to see what they can do. Let's go fly. Let's go fly. Okay. Okay, boy, we've got some beautiful weather. It's not too hot this time. The sky looks crappy. That's yeah, okay. We but can do a little bit. Not a lot of wind. Plane matches your shirt nice, though. Oh, yeah. Wow. Color coordinated today. How about that? That's pretty darn awesome. All right, so like we reiterate, everything is the same. Everything's the same. Just Hardware. Just the uh, airframe is different. Motor, so batteries. 947 prop. props, 1300 kV motors, same battery even. We both have 803 cells. Yep. All right. All right. So I'll go ahead and put mine up in the air first, and then okay. you go ahead and feel free to do uh, right. what I want. Now this Delta is not overly fast, so uh, it's a good training Delta. You can, if you want, someday put a bigger motor on, but uh, for the most part, this is just to get you used Ooh. to uh, the flying ailerons and also bank and yank. Uh, you do need to carry a throttle on it. It doesn't have a real good glide ratio, but it is very maneuverable. And one thing I like about this is this can also be a good opportunity for, uh, for combat. And great roll rate. That is great. And now you can dial down the throws too, which is real nice uh, to make it a little bit more docile. I have this kicked up about as much as you want to. But uh, for the most part, it has some really good tendencies. So if you're mixing, are you using the uh, the left side of the rudder control at all? Or nope, are you just, just, just using strictly throttle? Just throttle and then everything else is on the other side. Gotcha. I do something called phantom rudder. I always move my rudder finger that sounds scary. around. Yeah, it does sound, sound kind of scary. And uh, look, the birds like it too. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go mess with the birds. Why don't you put your plane I'm up sure. in the air? Nice. You can see there is quite a speed difference between the uh, yeah. FD Flyer and right. the, the Delta. That's why it'd probably be a good third airplane. I wouldn't probably go right to this. Uh, but one nice thing about this is it does have just a, 
It drives like it's on rails, or flies like it's on rails. You, uh, you don't have to worry about when you have throttle, how it pitches up and stuff. Most trainers are kind of kind of common with that. You know, the more throttle you give, the more up it wants to go. So uh, that is one nice feature about this, but it would make a really great third airplane. So what are your thoughts on the FT Flyer? Oh, it's nice, it's docile. It's a little rocky, but I think uh, that's to do with the uh, dihedral of the wings, right? Yep, exactly. The dihedral always want to self right it. And one downside is if the wind kind of pits it up, it's going to go right back to, uh, to neutral again. So we'll right. have a rocking motion. The more dihedral you put in it, the more rocking motion it's going to have as mm -hmm. well. Gotta catch up with you. No, not going to happen. <laughs> And like I said, we will have uh, build videos for both these airplanes too, so. Yeah, it's oh, definitely nice the having a light breeze right now. In the higher winds, they're a yeah. little too light. Yeah, the, the Delta will handle higher winds because in nature it's meant to go fast, so uh, the wind won't knock it around nearly as much as the FT Flyer and the Nutball. But, uh, yeah, they are light airplanes, so they are meant for, uh, for light calm days. I'm gonna go ahead and bring mine in for a landing. Okay. There we go. I thought I you did a little hit speedy me. turn thing there. That was nice. I, I didn't use the rudders because there are no I rudders. I corner my eye. I thought it was coming right <laughs> for me. That's okay. You're doing really good with this. Yeah, hey, thanks. Both of these are three channel airplanes. The only difference is mine is using elevon, which is elevator and aileron, and he's is using elevator and rudder and throttle. So uh, only three channels on both of them, but different inputs gives you different abilities. That one can't do an axial roll, the Delta can. You gonna bring yours in? Yeah, sure. Not bad, brother. All right. Put it right on the main, that's pretty good. Okay. Very cool. So we got the nutball. We got the uh, FT, FT flyer, flyer, and now we have the Delta. the Delta. And hopefully there'll be a lot more coming there too. Keep and advancing in your skill level, people. Exactly. If you guys watched the Nutball episode, you also saw that we're working on a fun bat too. So hopefully we'll bring that to you eventually as well. Right. So it was a fun day flying. Yeah, it's I nice. I think it'll make a really great third airplane too. Mm -hmm. Yep, just keep advancing up and up and up. Exactly. The Nutball, FT flyer, Delta, and sky's who knows what the limit. Else. Sky's the limit. I'm sure we'll be coming up this. And also it's cheap. Yeah. Switch it out, Dollar Tree foam. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Thanks Stonecap Productions for sponsoring this episode. Go to our website, flighttest.com. Chat it up the on the forums. All right, and rate some of the uh, articles as well. Yeah, yeah, and as a matter of fact, if you guys do one of these builds, we'd love to see what you've done with it and what you think of it too. Right. Put it on an article. Yeah, all right, we'll see you guys next time. I wanna get another battery. All right, let's go. Josh didn't think I could handle this one, so we'll see. Attack pattern delta. Go now. That's not so bad. Uh, I mean, it's faster, but it doesn't rock like the uh, FT Flyer does. Oh, a little bumpy, but it's still up. As long as we don't have a broken prop, I think we'll be okay.